Hello Akron fans, and welcome to this exhibition match between Cybernetic Pony and Shalka on Desecrated Temple. I'm Shadow Fury 33 your host, and let us begin. So Desecrated Temple is a map that hasn't actually really shown up all that much recently. It's shown up a bit... I think... I think the last time it showed up was a month ago, but I think the last time it showed up was probably in one of the overview videos that I was doing for the most recent patch. I think that was the last time I showed it. So basically, hasn't shown up in a while. I will go over it very briefly. And just to point out, Shalka is going Grekum, and Cybernetic Pony over in the west corner of the map, or west side of the map, is going for Vekir. Anyway, this map is, as you can see, a four-player map, or might be obvious. It starts in the north, the west, the south, and the east side of the map. The west and north sides of the map have ramps that are facing each other going across a slightly separated section of the map, something of a peninsula. Similarly, with the south and east sides of the map, they also have this section in between them, as well as the expansions over towards the, well, south and east side, in between, essentially. There's a lot of resources in between those expansions, and some resources in between the west and south and the north and east expansions, with a lot of open space in the center, and a nice little hill in the center as well, or more of a pyramidal structure. So, like I said, Summoning Pony is starting in the west side of the map. He is going pretty quickly for a few RPs, while see that Shalka is he is also going for RPs, so both players, neither one is assuming a rush is happening. Both players are scouting out. They are double-checking where their opponents are. Cybernetic Pony apparently not using audio scouting. One of the things about Akron, of course, you can actually scout by listening. You don't have to actually have vision over an area to hear what's going on there. So this is actually really handy for figuring out on a four-player map like this where your opponent has spawned. Now Cybernetic Pony has decided instead to go for visual scouting, and he does know that Shalka is going Grekum and vice versa for Shalka knowing Cybernetic Pony's Vec gear. But I think Shalka probably just sent his Octo out. The, being that he sent it out perfectly the first time, I'm guessing Shalka did use audio scouting, did make most of that, and is just sending an Octo to figure out whether or not rushes are coming, Zion Pulsers or anything like that are coming up, and let's see, Cybernetic Pony is... actually is going for a fairly quick rush, so forget what I said about eco economic builds, he is getting a few more RPs, but that doesn't mean anything. A depot at two and a half minutes in, that is a rush. Now Shock on the other hand, by the way, this is right next to the present too, so both players are playing in the future. Take everything that happens here as very hypothetical. Shalka, about a minute up from Cybernetic Pony, is building a couple resources. He's very quickly trying to get air units of his own, which is a good idea if Cybernetic Pony is in fact going for Zion Pulsers, though it's a little bit slow to execute and actually would be still kind of tricky to make work properly, since air units are quite expensive. Getting, on the other hand, a couple reefs and then a bunch of Octos or Faros would probably work out a bit better. Though Zion Pulsers can end up up here on this ridge, Faros can hit them no problem, so it's it'll work out. However, it looks like Shalka is jumping back a couple minutes, and I think he's trying to set he's trying to set up shop in another base because I'm pretty sure he knows that Cybernetic Pony is over on the west side of the map. I'm unless he's second guessing himself, I'm fairly certain that he knows Cybernetic Pony is right here, and Cybernetic Pony knows where he is and is taking full advantage of this knowledge, or will soon be in the future. I mean. We're now a minute down from the present, and also a minute down from where Shalka is. Like Shalka jumping up further in the future. Do we have any idea what he's planning? No, he is... He does have the Octo outside of Cybernetic Pony's base just in case something happens. And a Zion Pulsar is being built up at the 437 mark. That is when it's getting out. Skip Teleport has not been re researched on it yet, but Cybernetic Pony is not focused on this point in the future. He is just double-checking his build. I don't know if he's changing it up, since that's typically why you'd go back in the past like this. He hasn't actually seen any damage other than damage he was already aware of to these scout units to the north. So I don't imagine that he's that suspicious. He's probably going to be getting skip teleport right now. Very close to where the Zion Pulsar is coming out. And Shalka, further in the future, has a... Looks like it is a full triad set up. Going to the south side of the map. And this is the worst place you could go to because a Shinveer has been set up there. I'm not sure if Cybernetic Pony was planning on expanding there himself. But he is definitely going to scout out Shalka's attempt. Now, Shalka is sending in a bunch of units to clear that out, but he still has signaled that he's planning to expand really quickly, and Cybernetic Pony will know from that there's no way that he's going to have the resources to defend against the Zion Pulsar attack, which does have skip teleport, and the Zion Pulsars are coming. If the Octopods leave the base, now Shalka, of course, this is far in the future, and this is, there's plenty of time, of chrono energy free time, that 
Schalke could go up and just play around with the strategy and get the defense just right while sending the defense over to the expansion. Now at this point, Cybernetic Pony is not aware of this expansion, and in fact on this timeline it looks like the... Actually, it looks like the Shinveer had never actually gone there ultimately. What we saw in the future was inaccurate, incomplete information that has since been revised, and the Test Veer we see is double-checking, is seeing the expansion, so regardless, despite losing that Shinveer to the south, or never having it there in the first place, ultimately, Cybernetic Pony well aware of Shalka's expansion attempt. And whether or not he goes to attack it directly, or decides just to wait for more opportune time to attack, I mean, right now, none of the points where he could attack is near the unplayable pass, so he's probably not going to go for that yet, but he will soon, most likely, and Shalka actually is getting advanced structures, he's going to soon get air units, he's getting a Faro right there for Spire, and Sephi's just in case for anti-air. Not sure why I expect Saturday Point to have air this early. Vekir doesn't often get air this early, they can, but not anymore. I'm not sure if that's something that Shalka expected from previous earlier metagames, or if he's expecting that because of other players going for air units. I mean, it's not impossible for Vekir to go for air that early, it's just not common. Anyhow, with... Let's see, Severnick Pony is at the six minute mark, he has a second Zion Pulse, so the first one is just walking over, the second one looks like he'll probably be teleporting over to follow up. Not sure why... Cybernetic Pony decided to go for it this way. He does have a Zion Pulsar nicely in position. That will actually... That's a Zion Pulsar here is just out of range of Shalka's units. They can't see it. They don't know it's coming, but they could very easily know it's coming. I'm not sure if that is worth doing. It's a bit of a risk. I would recommend Cybernetic Pony instead put his Zion Pulsar down here or possibly in this little ravine. Or possibly over on here and then teleport it over when the time is right. Shaka, however, has not spotted that yet, or at least apparently hasn't spotted it yet. He certainly doesn't seem concerned. He's much more concerned about ensuring that this base to the south is continuing along in its earlier set course. And that's about all that can be said for that. Now, at the six-minute mark here, it looks like Cybernetic Pony has actually... No, he hasn't changed up anything. Cybernetic Pony is giving away a Zion Pulsar, and it has been destroyed. Well, okay, it probably will be not destroy. So Cybernetic Pony's probably going to move away, but the point is, the Zion Pulsar Rush is known about. Shalka has this information, and he's going to probably keep these Octopods in his main base, not move them out. Well, once he moves back to this point in time to double-check. Further in the future, Shalka is actually... Well, what is Shalka doing further in the future? Now, he is trying to expect... He's trying to expand over here, trying to deal with that, but... Now that he knows what to expect with Zion Pulsars, he's jumped back to the five-minute mark, jumped back about three minutes, and at this point, jumping forward a minute again, He's going to try to get rid of the Zion Pulsar, and the Zion Pulsar very cleverly put in a position where it's going to be easy for it to get away. But... But Shalka is completely aware of what's going on, so there's no real reason why he has to be concerned. I mean, Shalka is basically just going to be attacking and... getting rid of the Zion Pulsar, and that will be it. Now... Note at the same time that a Shin Beer has been sent to the northwest corner of the map, so... Cybernetic Pony definitely planning to expand there. Or at least, scout for expansions, but probably will expand in his own. And an Octopod... Set up by Shalka, nicely done with the scout here. He has another Octopod set up that will spot the second Zion Pulsar. Or, actually, wait, this is the first Zion Pulsar. But anyway, the Octo... Actually, no, that Octo is aware of the Zion Pulsar, but this is Zion Pulsar was already made aware of... Or Shalka was already made aware of the Zion Pulsar, and that's actually the one that the Octopods defeated, and which will be... They're going to look out for. I mean, Shalka does have a good base defense. He's not going to be too concerned about this, but he might... He might make the mistake of moving these Octopods... Er, that's not the Octopods, these are the Octopods. Moving the Octopods out towards the expansion regardless. If he's assuming that Cybernetic Pony will attack the expansion, that's a possibility. Cybernetic Pony does not seem too keen on doing that, though. He seems to be building up... Getting Gay Tech, building up a force, and probably going to be chronoporting these Zion Pulsars back. I expect that's exactly what's going to happen. Chronoporting them back to about this point in time, when the Octopods are alive. Actually, that's going to be really tricky. Yeah, he might... If he has good positioning, that'll work, but... That's going to be tricky to pull off. Now, Shock, on the other hand, he is getting Faros, he is getting air units. I don't know if he's going to go for a strong enough assault, a quick enough assault to be able to actually make that work. There is a Spire, okay. The, at the 835 mark, a Spire is being built. Now, two minutes down from here where Cybernetic Pony is, the Zion Pulsars are... Well, trying to defend the Shinveer, Tethveer pair here. I'm not sure why they wasn't expand. Okay, that's not a great place to expand. Really... South base, or possibly, well, south base for Severing Pony and east base for Shalka. Those would be the best places to expand. Now, Shalka has built a proxy triad in the center of the map. Nice, or interesting choice. I mean, it's certainly 
certainly a good place to start setting up proxy Octos or Octopods, I can see that. But no, he's continuing to move his Octopods down. My Gisabernate Pony is set to Corona Board of Zunes down to about the 6 minute mark when the Octopods were actually inside Shalka's base over here, and one of them remaining there. But... It really comes down to where Cybernetic Pony and when Cybernetic Pony chronoports to, or rather, when he chronoports to and where he teleports to, that's going to set basically the winner of this game. That's entirely going to determine this. Now, Shalk, on the other hand, like I said, he does have the center triad going. He does have a couple Octos, and it looks like he is going for a proxy rush of his own. And yeah, there it goes! Proxy triad attack with the Octos and Octopods at the same time as Cybernetic Pony's chronoport. I mean, same ish time. He could go for a chronoport now and basically win. In fact, he has enough Zion Pulsar to probably do both a Chronoport and a straight attack, or do this defense, and then afterwards do a Chronoport. But I think Cybernetic Pony made us be going for the straight Chronoport, and it looks like that's exactly what he's planning on doing. He... Does he have the money? No, he does not quite have the Q-Plasma yet. He will soon, after this battle is done, which he's probably going to win. No, he's definitely going to win this fight, but... That will weaken his Zion Pulsar army slightly. It looks like he's going to lose two Zion Pulsars to this fight. Possibly three of his Octopods can go away fast enough, but it looks like it'll just be two ultimately. And then from there he can Chronoport back, and I think Shalka's is aware of the Slipgate, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, Cybernetic Pony, he needs to have 252 Q Plasma to make this work. He only has 210 for this, and he's going to Chronoport back about four of these. No, three of them. Only three Zion Pulses will be Chronoported back now. And, oh, no, actually four. He managed to get enough Q Plasma just in time. And the teleportation is going along right to the octopods now this is going to be really tricky the octopods are going to get some free shots in and one of the zion balsers goes down but still managed to get rid of those octopods now these octopods were not involved in the or no these octopods were involved in the fight so that actually will make the fight that we saw further in the future much easier so shalka back in the nine minute mark in the playable past he's aware of this happening or is aware of damage going on in the unplayable past and looks like he is definitely planning to expand and just try to diversify himself somewhat so he doesn't have everything destroyed by this one attack now, Cybernetic Pony jumping back towards the future, seeing what's going on, and seeing that Shalka's actually retreated from this assault. He is not going for it. I can't say I blame him, though these two Octopods here, I don't believe exist on the Green Time Wave. Let's see if what happens on the Green Time Wave, but I think that they actually aren't here. And Green Time Wave comes along. They continue to exist. Okay, never mind, they're not dead. That's a different one. Either that or the Red Time Wave carries their death, but I think that it's probably the Green Time Wave that does so. And it looks like Cybernetic Pony is continuing to deal more damage to Shalka's base. No one, no player is looking at this, but very likely that's what's going on. And no, Cybernetic Pony actually getting his Zion Pulse are still outside of Shalka's base. Now finally moving them in, but able to get rid of these Octopods. I think this is game. I don't see any way that Shalka could get out of this. I think Cybernetic Pony has it. I'm not 100% sure, though. I mean, it's possible that that air units could... Turn it around. No, I think I think this is it. I think Shalka has basically won this game. Definitely a good effort by. S Sorry, I think Cybernetic Pony has won this game. Shalka has not won this game. What am I saying? Though Shalka definitely good effort with the expansion attempt here, and he does have more resources. He does have, like I said, more assets just around the map. That's still something, but it's not probably going to be enough. Can't say it's likely going to be enough. And the Slipgate here is still here. Cybernetic Pony could still send out more assault forces. And that looks like that is exactly what he is doing. He has more Zion Pulses behind the one that had gone into his, the base, gone into Shalka's base to destroy it. Shalka, I'm not sure why he hasn't thrown the towel quite yet. Jumping back to the 934 mark, we do see that this attack is going about the same way it was before. Actually, wait. No, the Red Time Wave isn't showing as much damage yet. I mean... Oh, I see. This is further in the future. Never mind. Yeah, so... That's it. Cybernetic Pony has basically taken this, and it looks like Shalka... Not sure why he hasn't thrown on the towel quite yet, but... Yeah, he hasn't thrown on the towel quite yet. Still waiting on that. It's still... Well, I mean, Cybernetic Pony doesn't even want to wait... Okay, why is just suddenly speed up? I guess it's just Cybernetic... Sorry, I just... That sudden speed up looked like it was faster than fast forward, so I was a little bit confused as to what happened there, but it's probably fine. Anyway, that is going to be game... Oh, screw it, I am going to do a speed up here. Oh, no, okay, that's what happens when you do more than fast forward. Got a nice rhythm to it. Actually, I kind of wish I was 
the Octopods were firing because one thing I think I suspect in the sound design in this game is for the Octopods, I think they took a, a bunch of stretched canvas and banged it with a mallet, like banged it with one of the soft mallets they use for percussion instruments, like large drums and such, and then slowed it right on down for the, not the Vuvuzela sound, but the the sound of its weapon. Anyway, that's game. Nice done, nicely done Cybernetic Pony for using that design pulse rush quite effectively in it. And we will have another game shortly, so stay tuned. Or I will have another game shortly. Since I'm kind of my own production staff, there's really not much more here. Stay tuned, everyone.